Slick. Slick, slick, slick. All right. You see Sprinkle try to escape the dome. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not <laughs> yeah, but he does not have the passcode to come back uh. in, so. Sprinkle <laughs> <laughs> is curled up, comfortable in my hood, a little unnerved by all of the crazy noises. A little unnerved. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. New development. All right. yeah. So you, f- you finish summoning your monkey and go to bed. You're finishing. They call it summoning the monkey yeah. Yeah, all night long. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> every, wizard every, shit. Every, every wizard's early days at, wizard at school <laughs> spend a little too much time summoning the monkey. Um, all right. Um, so, but Jesse, you're taking first watch. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh Um. Everyone else is asleep for the. Uh, the early portion of the night. In that time that you're finishing your card drawing and getting excited. You can't help but kind of catch something in the corner of your eye. And outside of the dome, beyond the edge of the glade, you see a familiar green robe. You step out of the dome and quietly make your way beyond the clearing where the traveler waits as you. Come with me. You've always been so quick to learn, so very clever. I grow so proud. I think it's time. Time for what? Do you trust me? With everything in my being. He turns and walks further into the darkness of the jungle, a faint kind of green glow lighting up the space around him as he walks. I glance back at the dome. I take off after the traveler. Okay. As he walks, you can see, kind of out of the corner of the green light, the vines almost expanding and growing more vibrant around him. Flowers kind of As he steps to an area and kind of puts his hand to one side, you can see one of the trees kind of very quietly bends and moves aside, where a little corner of the jungle is kind of serene and removed from the dense expanse around you. Is this the oasis? No. This is your oasis. It's a place to talk. He stands and turns facing you. And he pulls his head back, revealing his almost elf-like features, the more exaggerated and fey, his long ears curling behind the head. Beyond any elves that you've seen, his almond-shaped eyes of emerald green and brilliant beneath this thin, feather-like brows, a voluminous orange-red hair curls down the back of the head like a lion's mane, and he smiles. Jester, you are my first disciple, the first one to truly carve the world with your cunning, your joy, and your mischief. I trust you, and are you ready for the absolute truth? Yes? I am the traveler, but it was not always this way. For when I traveled here, it was a a world before me where I was without burdens, without responsibilities, and without limitations. I drank deep of the muted colors of Exandria, straining to exit 
I plucked at and knotted the lives of many fools from the shadows, amusing myself by leaping into every whim with glee and purpose. And one day I met a little girl who sought that same spark. A little girl who found joy in exposing life's more subtle hypocrisies. A little blue girl who lived a life so small but felt in her heart there was so much more to see. This little girl and I found a kinship. And in that childlike wonder, a view so untempered by the sanctimonious morality of man. And she saw me as a god. So for her, for you, I don the mask of one. I found that with such pure, absolute faith granted towards me, I was exhilarated. I began to seek others who might be waiting for such guidance to bring a bit of un, well, necessary chaos into the world. One by one I traveled and found more souls who needed direction, who found themselves in our shenanigans. It was beautiful. Eons living for only myself, I, I found a new joy in helping others find themselves in a world cruel and painted in dull, divided pigments. With each new faith, I could find myself, I could feel myself becoming what you believed. Then more came. Playful pranks turned into demands. Prayers fighting for my attention. Freshly freed from previously imposed boundaries, I'd managed to fully really construct my own. Now such faith granted me power beyond what I thought possible to achieve, I was being spread too thin across those who I'd taken under my wing. I thought to bring them all together, to unify their causes and perhaps forge community under this banner, my banner, our banner. We are weeks away from the gathering of my lost children who have wound their lives around my boons and counsel. The truth, Jester, is that I have no idea what I'm doing, and I need your help. That's where it ends tonight's episode. Oh! 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 Holy shit! Just sit there going, fuck off, David Bowie! Fuck off, no one wants you here, David Bowie! Oh my God. Go back to your home, David Bowie! It's a cult! It's a cult! I mean, this was Jester's fault the whole time! Baby <laughs> Yes! It's a cult! No, now he's gonna be a god. Yes. He's a god. There's paper pants, it's long a cult. Elven features. It's our event. Yeah. It's our event. Yeah. Totally our yeah. 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 Come on. You're totally. saying yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Maybe it's not a cult. David Bowie. <laughs> Just David Bowie. I have no <laughs> yeah. idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, if I were ever to meet a god and they said that to me, I'd be like, okay, and now I believe that I you are. Love <laughs> <laughs> this got way out of I hand. Deal with this. <laughs> Travel Con is just our tag and strangling 500 people. <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, Garmelie, Artagon, Artig, there was Artagon or Artagon? Artagon, Artagon, Artagon. 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 and then it was like Artagon. by name right. was actually Garmelie Artagon. was like the fa the fall. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, Holy so for so long. Was the font, was that a, an illusion yeah. for him? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like his changed yeah. shape. Yeah. Little trickster font. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. You did oh, this. Fuck. I'm so oh, excited. You did this. You're a huge, you did this. <laughs> it's so funny. It doesn't oh, necessarily God. need to be a bad thing. No, it's not. It's super awesome. It's a it's you, a cluster fudge. It's a complicated thing is it's what it is. It's a club <laughs> that you started. You started a club. You did. It's you cult. started a club. Maybe yeah, you got, become you got maybe married to somebody and then found the secret door to their basement. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, it's so much more. Oh no, this is oh, fine. This is so amazing. I, I'm it's totally okay. okay. Yep. Oh, it, no. it's it was gonna the, be great. It was the trigger of your trickery last session that he was like, "Okay, maybe she can help me." <laughs> oh, oh my god! Holy oh, fuck! I love it. I love it so much. Oh my god. It's going to be interesting.
Okay. But we'll pick that up next week okay. on Thursday. <laughs>